back to pipe organ stops. Just arrived at the Bales Recital Hall on KU campus. Absolutely love this place. It's amazing. Take a look. Coming in through the back door. Type in the magic code. All right. Before we head inside, I did want to show you guys where I was earlier today. Take a look. I just got to the middle of campus, University of Kansas. Thought I'd show you guys around a little bit. I'd be a little bit of a tourist today, even though I'm local. I wanted to show you the buildings though. I'm a big fan of the architecture here. Take a look. Spooner Hall. Whoso findeth wisdom findeth life. Good quote. Here's Danforth Chapel. Lippincott Hall. I just love the pillars. Behind me is Fraser Hall. Watson Library. I love the ornate window panes. Smith Hall. Religious studies. It's Moses. And the stained glass window of the burning bush. You can see the stadium over there. I love the masonry. There's brick and stone everywhere on campus. Murphy Hall, very important place for us musicians. There's something I just have to show you up here. The birthplace of basketball. How awesome is that? Take a look. The original rules of basketball. Thank you, Coffee has brought him here tonight all the way from Lawrence, Kansas. Dr. James A. Napier, the inventor of basketball. Time for a selfie. Welcome to Bales Recital Hall. Dane and Polly Bales met while attending the University of Kansas and were married in the early 1940s. While attending KU, Polly had studied organ, practicing periodically in the old Hoke Auditorium, where she often had to practice to the distracting sounds of people playing basketball. She remembered thinking it would have been nice to have somewhere else to play the organ. In 1991, a lightning strike started a fire which claimed much of Hoke Hall, including the old organ. In the meantime, plans were underway for the construction of the Leeds Center, a new performing arts building on the west side of campus. University of Kansas organ professor Dr. James Higdon was able to meet with the Bales, 
and discussed the possibility of a new organ recital hall which would join the west side of the new Leeds Center. The Bales donated $1.3 million towards the construction of the recital hall and its organ. They would go on to contribute another $2.5 million towards the recital hall's upkeep, as well as creating an endowed professorship of organ. Something unique about the Bales Recital Hall is that the hall and the organ were designed and constructed simultaneously, resulting in an amazingly hand-in-glove fit. When Robert Mahoney, the acoustician, asked Dr. James Higdon what sort of acoustic space he wanted, he replied with a smile, Oh, that's easy. Saint-Francois de Salle in Lyon. Can you get it for me? This became the acoustic standard for the design of the hall. Two foot thick reinforced concrete walls rise up to a 72 foot high ceiling. The wall surfaces were textured in a manner to resemble the surface of stone. A hard veneer plaster finish adds to the reverberation. As an organ builder, Helmut Wolf was accustomed to having to work with what he was dealt. Churches or concert halls with less than ideal acoustics were not enough space to build. With respect to the recital hall, he said, in this project, we found ourselves in the most unusual position of having everything exactly as we would wish. We could barely believe our good fortune. To be told that everything would be done to provide an ideal acoustic seemed already grace beyond measure. The case of the organ was designed after the style of the 15th century organ in Strasbourg Cathedral in Alsace, France. Peter G. Thompson, former Dean of Fine Arts at KU, was asked to design the stained glass windows in the rear of the hall as well as the pipe shades on the front of the organ case. After months of collaboration of some of the finest artistic and architectural minds, the Wolf Opus 40 in the Bales Recital Hall became one of the finest university organ facilities in the world. All right, here we are at the console. Three manuals, flat pedal board, it's 45 stops, more than 3,200 pipes. The case is 35 feet tall. You can see a loft up there where you can access the swell. And when we say tracker action, here are the trackers. The mechanical connection between the keys and the pipes. Pretty cool. All right, time to do some sampling. So let's start with the grate. Here is our great division. So you can see on this side, okay, so we got our principles. Eight foot, four foot, two foot, and the mixture on top. So together there's our principal chorus. And if you want to strengthen it, <clears throat> beef it up a little bit, there's our 16-foot principle for a full principle chorus. So great principles. Here are our two reeds. Eight-foot trumpet. Here's our four-foot reed. And together. got some flutes, eight foots, two of them. Let's hear the difference between them. So the conical flute. The harmonic flute. And up above, here's our four foot. Two mutations also to be used to their flutes. You can do them in combination. If you do these all together, it's almost a full cornet. You can do other variations. Eight, two and two thirds. So some wonderful options on the grate. Let's go now to the positive. Take a look. So, positive. And that will be our bottom keyboard, this one right here. Grates in the middle, positive down below, and here we have. <clears throat> First let's do, here's our uh, eight foot principle. Four foot. Two foot principle. 
and a mixture to top it off. So in combination, here's our full principal chorus. Nice and strong, and especially since it's mounted closest to the organist, so you get the most sound here at the console from the positive. Out in the hall it's different, it mixes better, but up close you get a lot more sound for the organist at the positive. Here's our four, or I'm sorry, eight foot flute. Four foot. Two foot flute. And in combination, eight, four, two, there's a flute chorus. Nice sound. Um, to work in combination with those flutes, you've got this mutation up on top, the one and a third. And this one, say you combine it with these. You could also do, here's a sesquialtra. So a solo mixture that could go in combination with something like this. And finally, we've got one reed on the positive. Here's our crumb horn, very distinctive. So there's the positive. And up above we have the reci, or the swell. And uh, this one's all the way up top of the case, and it's under expression, so let me demonstrate. Here's the swell pedal, and uh, I'm going to close it. Open. And closed. So, expression for the swell. The swell doesn't have a full principal chorus, but it does have, you could take this, um, Str uh, the viola da gamba, the string, since it's a little bit stronger, a four foot prestant, two foot octave, and then the pleasure of the uh, mixture. So we'll hear what those sound like. Four foot principle. Two foot. And mixture. And if we combine those, kind of the rough approximation of a principal chorus. There's that. With the uh, 16 foot quintedant, uh, we've got our 16 foot flute. An 8 foot chimney flute. Here's a four foot flute. And um, here's our Celeste. Once again, we've seen before, th this is just the Celeste, so by itself. And in combination, how about with the viola da gamba? And in contrast, with the chimney flute. You can get some nice lush orchestral sounds. Let's say we beef that up and add all the, these flutes together. Some great options. We have a cornet, an actual, I guess you could call it a mounted cornet meaning that it, and it's all five ranks are turned on with this one stop. So that's very convenient, nice to have for soloing. Okay, now up above. These are all reeds. A nice assortment to go through and we've got our 16 foot Eight foot trumpet. Our four foot. 
And these three together make a reed chorus. Awesome. Nice power. Some solo reeds, the, the oboe, oboe. And the voix humaine, the human voice, as they say. Very distinctive in its timbre. So there's the Racy. Moving over now to the pedal. Nice big pedal division. And I don't know how many of these you'll be able to hear with my microphone, but we'll try it out. If you see, we have a 32 foot. Great. You might not hear that, but I can feel it. And so can the people out in the hall. All right, now this is interesting right here. Well, first of all, we've got, this would be our uh, principal chorus for the pedal. So 16 foot. foot, four foot, and the mixture. And in combination, so there's our principal chorus. Now I like to look at these straight across because you have 16, 8, 16, 8, and 16, 8. Um, it's interesting because these two in combination are kind of the softer variants of the 16 and 8 combination. Over here would be halfway between and the strongest of the three. So some great possibilities, good options right there. And then our pedal reeds are right here. <clears throat> the 16 foot pedal reed. We have two eight foot trumpets. This one's the Allemande, more of the Germanic. And then just the trumpet. And finally, Here's our four foot reed. So good options for the pedal as well. Now it's time for a little bit of sampling by way of playing. You can imagine that this organ is perfect for those days when you just need to pull out all the stops. It's also just as capable for the most delicate of pieces. Or on those days when you just feel like improvising something. In any case, if you're like me, it's the kind of instrument that it's hard to pull yourself away from.
Well, there you have it. Another amazing instrument. So, till I see you next time. Have fun at the console. Bye.